The village of Opetne is located near the city of Bakhmut, Donetsk region, where active hostilities are taking place today. There are local residents in this village who believe in the armed forces of Ukraine and do not leave their native village. I believe in our armed forces. Today I received such a cool message on my phone from the armed forces of Ukraine. Although Putin shouted that Bakhmut would be taken before the 15th of September, they wanted to take Ukraine in four days, then all to nothing. Donbass is 100% Ukraine, and no matter what they say, the guys hold on to every piece of land with their teeth. The Russians are now shelling the cemetery. Are those normal people? There is even no one there. The shells are literally flying over our heads here. Despite the constant shelling, people cook on the streets, they eat food supplies brought by volunteers. Local residents no longer react to the sounds of exploding shells nearby. Mm -hmm. How do you feel living with these constant sounds? This is not an explosion. The explosion is when it hits right over your head and the blast wave makes you kneel. Don't you get cold at night? It's already cold. We are freezing, yes. We have no idea what will be with us next. Every day the Russian shell Bakhmut itself. Here it is difficult to count the infrastructure facilities which were not damaged or destroyed. Residential buildings stand without windows with broken and burnt roofs. People still stay in this practically burnt out house. They've been collecting their things for two days that were not damaged by the fire. They took their belongings to the garages, where they live up until to this day. And now, how do you manage to live? Could you tell me? Well, we live like this. Someone is in the garage, someone elsewhere. Our neighbors don't have any roof at all. In our house, we have two floors undamaged. Did you manage to save some belongings? Everything that's intact, I bring down here. Other things burned. After five massive attacks on Bakhmut on September the 13th, five civilians were killed in the city. Another 16 were wounded. There are only about 10,000 people left in the city as of today. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Olena Gramova, UATV News.